hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys if you can't able to adjust uh, brightness on windows 11 so if the slider is not working on your windows 11 so this video is for you i will show you step by step how you can troubleshoot this issue so first of all guys this issue happens when the driver of the display is not working correctly in, in your windows so first of all you need to open to device manager here and simply open the device manager you can also right click on it and you can also open the device manager here and once you open the device manager you need to go to display adapter so this is the main driver for display adapter intel one or amd geforce whichever you are using make sure anyone is not disabled here if some of the one is disabled here you may get this issue as well so make sure both are enabled here if it is already enabled so you can disable it once and you can re-enable it once and see if that is working for you or not still not working for me guys so what you can do is you need to right click on it and you can update for driver automatically if it is saying already best driver already installed so we need to close this choose this time and reinstall the driver of graphics so by this way same driver will be reinstalled but if you see the latest version there you need to go for latest version also check if you have physical keyboard of the brightness slider make sure it is on now you can see screen may blink so explicitly reinstall it So still I have the same issue guys. So let me uninstall it once. Do not delete, just uninstall. And it is asking to restart your laptop. So let me restart my laptop. So you need to do the same thing. Now let me log in here guys and see if my issue is fixed or not. Okay so you can see here the slider is gone now. It is not showing up here. So let me reload it once. Okay so still it is not working guys so if your driver is also not working so we have to go to the manufacturer website or whichever the graphic driver you are using you need to go to their official website and we need to install the driver so i'm using here the dell laptop i will type a dell driver if you are using here the another laptop or system you need to go to first official link of their website this is the actual way and correct way to solve the problem without going into the advanced method let me open the cmd in order to get the serial number you can also see the serial number on your physical system or laptop let me show you how it should look this these are the serial number example but i am giving you the command also you need to type a w m i c c s product and you need to copy this just you need to 
control C and you can see this is the serial uh, this is the serial number this is the model number so let me paste it here click on search and I will install the driver from there first you can try this option guys automatic update check for automatic update once this will reinstall this option will install all the pending drivers from your windows whichever is suggesting the windows you need to go ahead with these you need to download the supporting exe of support assist plug in the charger if you are using the graphite drivers here another official source nvidia and geforce so you need to go to official website of there so once you are on a this page you need to click on check for updates here but if somehow it is not working we can look for a specific drivers here and we need to look for display driver here this is the video and intel sd iris driver click on download selected also install the bios driver as well both the driver as main driver we go to download section you just need to double click on it I have already run that see graphic driver is installing now So you can see I got the yes I want to restart my computer so select here yes finish so remotely it is not possible so when I go to here change brightness level now I should able to you can see here my brightness level is working fine now it is working fine now I have shown you my issue has been fixed guys I have taken it remotely so that's why I have to use the phone so you need to install also the BIOS driver make sure you plug in the charger and then your issue should fix if after applying these method your issue is still not resolved then you have to reset your windows or you have to reinstall the fresh window on it so I hope guys this video helps you. If yes then hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching. You can also join the membership in order to get the exclusive video and help.